Hello ladies, I'm here with the indomitable Ray Morris Hi. who we've known each other 10 years and it's been 10 years since we've seen each other and we're going to do today a makeup look for a tired old slapper's face <laughs> when you want to be perked up again and feel fresh Let's and do. so we're going to learn some techniques. Ray is the amazing author of a few books now but your latest book is Ray Morris Masterclass and it teaches you so beautifully the shape of your eye and what kind of eye makeup you should do and she has color wheels which are magnificent to know what eye shades suit you and as a kind of synergy together you know Trini under makeup and Ray and she has also the most beautiful oh brushes goodness. because we've done our little tea kit which is your portable brush kit but if you wanted to buy the Louis Vuitton brushes Ray lovingly makes them with a Japanese master and they're the first time ever you've got a kabuki kind of brush which is on not, it's not a natural fibre, it's a... It's a world's first synthetic fibre with a fiber. cuticle. And it's, uh, it's incredible, they're really incredible. But uh, we're going to start today, we just prep the skin with some yes. crumbs on there and now we're going to prep more with BFF. So we're going to use and the And ask any questions as we go because it's a masterclass <laughs> and you've got the joy of Ray. <laughs> I'll answer anything. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Sorry. This is a light medium. Yep. And I'm going to just. So Ray's buffing. In. Ray's doing a whole. What's really lovely, Ray, is, you know, I always do one way with the makeup, and Shasha, our makeup artist in London, does another way, and then we have Alex, and we have John, and we have lots of different so you know, people work. But Ray, you, you are the queen of doing makeup with a brush. So it's really interesting for those of you who bought Trini London, think I love using brushes how you use our makeup when you're doing a whole brush-led makeup. So I think that's also the emphasis of this makeup look. Okay. Okay. So the, what I like to do is I like to get foundation into the skin. Yeah. So I never like to see foundation ever, no matter how much coverage you like. So why do you think brush is, brush is better? Because I use fingers to do that because yeah. I want to mix the oil of my skin with yeah. the finger. So I think not all brushes work as well as this brush. That's the difference. Yeah, and this, the thing is, Fingers are great because they heat up products. Sometimes people don't want to get fingers dirty. I love getting fingers dirty yeah. too. But the good thing with brushes is if you like sometimes women say they like a heavier coverage, yeah. you've got to really get it into the you've skin. You've got to buff it in. And yeah. the brush, you just need, it's not aggressive. You just want to get to buff something without hurting the skin. Mm -hmm. So like polishing a table. Yeah, like, yeah. Polishing an old mahogany table. Polishing a car. <laughs> buffing a car. Yeah, so true. <laughs> but if you were a car, one. you'd be an nasty one. Yeah. Yeah, the same. Yeah. <laughs> but look um, at the skin. See how like all I'm looking at is just skin, and I think that is a key to beautiful makeup is having skin looking incredible. And I think that's why you and I so identified. It's the, it's the first one we bonded on because Ray did my makeup when we, I very first came to Australia. And I was doing a TV show here, and it was the first time I've worked with a makeup artist where they wanted to show skin yeah. and not show product. Never. Mm -hmm. And any if you work product well. You can make even concealer look like skin. It's yeah. just working with it. And if you can see it, so can everybody else. Yeah, that's true. So you just go get a yeah. magnifying mirror and just make sure. My tip is. I mean, it's very scary at my age to use a magnifying mirror. It's it scary is, enough yeah. to use my plus two glasses. I have to say, let alone a magnifying mirror. I just feel they should be banned. They are awful. And I use straight eyebrows. What's going on? I call straight them straight, straight, straight eyebrows. Straight eyebrows. <laughs> I call them her mobile hairs that they're blocking, frankly. Or the ones um, you don't know if they're the eyebrow or hairline. I don't know where they belong. Yeah, yeah. So my partner has a tendency that I lie in bed and he goes chinny chin chin, not realising it might have been a day I've been threaded and I feel like beardy beardy beard. I can feel it now actually, beardy beardy beard, thank like, god. So, yeah. so, I think keep a pair of tweezers in your car because we're visionary, you just see everything. Yeah, that's that's true. And my other tip to making skin look good, you can go... So you're now um, using just a touch. Yeah, so yeah. I think the trick is you always get a product if you want, it's got a bit more coverage than what you want, yeah. but shear it down. Yeah, so and BFF, cover. I mean, just a touch is, you literally, I mean, I would do that quite your face, but you can buff and buff and buff and buff and buff and, and then polish the skin with it. Goes right in. Yeah, disappears. I actually personally use that one on my skin because I get quite red. I'm really pale. Yeah, and it does cover. And what I oh. love, the BFF is where the skin's amazing, but then I use the dust to touch just in these areas. So oh, I end up with those matte as well. Yeah. And not have glow everywhere. Yeah. So you don't have to, you don't have to like overcompensate areas. You've got an area that's red, someone just put heavy foundation over everything. Yeah. BFF and then use the um, like Trinchons that I'm using on you. That's your nickname, by the way. Trinchon. Yeah. I've got three nicknames. I've got a girl called Yossi who lives in Los Angeles, one of my oldest friends, and she calls me Trinchon. Ah. After the television set by Sony, I think. 
And then I have this girlfriend, Elizabeth, and she calls me Trinster. Trinster, okay. Uh, so um, we're going to introduce a new BFFI in January, and it's going to be between um, Mary and Redda, and it's going to be called Trinster. Trinster, it's yeah. awesome. So anyone who uses Trintron, the, the, the one-for-one match, will now, in fact, not be Redder, it will be Trintron. Yeah. No. I'm Trinster. Any questions? Like? Yes, so we were just talking about BFF and just a touch to perfect the skin. Yeah. Do you have any tips for rosacea? I think with rosacea, it's got to be about a skincare routine that's going to really help. And there's a, some very, very good creams out there, I think, that will reduce redness. There's a lot of skin correcting products like Becca does very good skin correcting products. But I think that Aven and a lovely brand that I put on Trini London's blog, you know, it's quite a green cream and it just takes that redness down and helps heal rosacea. And another product is called Time Out and it's that herb, Time, T-H-Y-M-E. And it's a toner which really reduces redness. It's fantastic. Um, and then I think it's just putting on, I think people who have rosacea, the hardest thing they find mm -hmm. is knowing where to put blusher. So in a way you need to dampen down the redness around your cheek so you can then place the blusher Absolutely. the way you want it and the tone of blusher you want instead of relying on the red of the rosacea of your face to be your blusher because that's always something that you don't feel feels prettily makeup y you just feel it's skin carey. That's, that's the stuff, what you said was because I find women with rosacea are so scared of blush because they yeah. hate their redness. Mm -hmm. But take the redness away with great foundation and then, like I said, reapply it where it should be. Yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. I completely agree. Right, that's a trend. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> really good. I love the surprise in her voice. I think um, it would be nice to know how you both met. So we met when I came here to work at Foxtel and we did the Trini and Susanna takeover mission or Mission Australia or the. Australian mission show and we landed off the plane and we went to a lovely hotel which is by Sydney Harbour and we got oh, our yeah. hair and makeup down the Hyatt and it was it was um, Ray and Sarah Laidlow and Sarah came to my room because I always like hair done first and Susanna doesn't care so Susanna went to Ray went to Susanna's room and Susanna and I were very different when I when I would arrive in a hotel, even though I hadn't slept for 23 hours, I would anally unpack everything, colour coordinate, everything, just make a home from home, blanket on the end of the bed, photographs out by the side. We were there like for three weeks a month. And Susanna would literally live out the suitcase for two weeks. So you went first to Susanna's room. Oh my dear. And? I went to Susanna's room and she was naked. Yeah, always. Open the door completely right. naked. Never met Ray before. Never. Hi! Like, come Welcome like, to my breasts. And nothing. Yeah. And she's just walking around. There's stuff everywhere. Yeah. And she was the most relaxed person. I thought she's jet lagged. Yeah. And then I came to your room. <laughs> I think you were doing yoga or something. Pilates, Pilates or something, probably. Yeah. I've never seen Ose ever <laughs> lock in. I've never seen Ying and Yang. I was actually a bit scared of you too. I was like, oh my goodness, she is like. And she was like, ready in the chair, outfits are iron, shoes are ready to go, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. Mm -hmm. And then I, our eyes met, and then yeah. it was love at first sight. It was love at first sight. Because underneath that sort of, underneath Ray's calm exterior is an obsession about skincare, which we both share, yeah. and treatments and procedures and everything. So we were like within three comparing seconds notes. discussing and comparing notes and Absolutely. what you had done, what you not had done, etc. So. And also just, I think, your attitude to makeup. And I remember I'd never felt my face looked as good or my makeup looked as good wow. before or after I went to Australia. Because I look at those photographs and that show was also shown in Germany. It was shown about, that was one of our biggest second market shows. So wow. it was on Pros even in Germany. It was in, in the Netherlands. It was in on an American show. It was everywhere, that show. And I remember... There are certain shows I look back at and I think, oh my God, my hair and makeup, what was I thinking? You know, when I was in that, I went through stages of flat ironed hair, which was like stuck to my head like a helmet and you know, hard makeup. And, and it was the first time that I did an intro, you know, to the show. And I thought, I feel really comfortable with that intro. And I was wearing, I remember, a very sort of shimmery dress and... We went out on a speedboat and, and we oh. did this look and then the guy was trying to show off and threw water and us and we had to go back and repair our hair and makeup. And this was like we'd now been up for 28 hours. So it was a long day. And then when we went on tour, you didn't come with us, did you? It was, yeah. Oh, you did. Did you come to Adelaide? Yeah. You came to Adelaide? Everywhere. There's you many 27 Adelaide and Perth. And, yeah. Oh, yes. That was all. 
<laughs> so this is the thing Ray tells everyone. So what are you doing now? Let's go back okay, to the Okay, so I'm, so. I'm intensifying the lash line. I think that a really great trick to make eyes is go bang. When we get confused where to put it, just keep it to the lash line and just do one or two things. Do a little C shape at the end of your eye or a V shape. And I have a ponytail technique. Put your hair, explain that ponytail yeah. can I do. So if you do a ponytail, which might be like that. Back like that. Back like that. You then... like your eyes wider. Yeah. I like to do like a C shape around the eye and extend it out. Yeah. And if you're somebody who does a top knot, which I do, that means you like your eyes lifted, so I do a V shape. So it's a really simple thing. We just extend the eye out. Okay, we extend the eye. So close. And a really great tip too, I always say, do your under eye first. Because, watch this, this is Empress. This is so beautiful. What's amazing, it's a bronze color that can go cool and warm. It's got this, like, this rosiness in yeah. it and this gold in it, so it goes cool. It's got blue eyes. Technically cool, but it, it flicks warm, so I love it. So here's the trick. Always do the under eye first. Don't round your under eyes, ladies and gentlemen. If you round your under eye, you do this. You don't want to do you want to lift. So you're gonna keep that eye straight. And the trick for eyes is to make them as big this way, not so much that way. And how you do that, you look straight into a mirror. And I'm gonna get this colour and just extend it out. Don't lift skin, don't worry about folds. Like you extend it out. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a V shape here, and then from there you go in to the top lid. So basically, it's a V shape. It's really simple. Keep the intensity on the outside, and wherever your skin is heavy, if you get a heavy little bit, which I've got, yeah, I, I've got one of those too. I but like I think to many women, like are you identifying with this, have that heavy lid feeling. And like this, yeah, this is a very clever brush. Yeah, so this goes underneath and just look straight ahead. And what it does, anything that's heavy, it'll just blend it back for you. So just remember, like, so the thing is, if you do the bottom, you extend and then you join into the top. If you do the top eye first, you tend to do the bottom and then you join the bottom to the top and it makes your eyes small. So you want to extend and then join the top to the bottom. It's really simple. Look at that colour in the light, it's so beautiful. Eyes looking bigger. Yes, gorgeous. Uh, 6.5. Yeah. And then, you know what? I have been a fan of creams. I was so excited because I love creams because the fallout you don't. I think powders are really hard to work with. They, they mm -hmm. are, they're not easy. I they, think you have to feel more of a professional working with powders. Yeah, and I think it's because what so people, many people have known, they just had to try. But creams, the other thing about creams, if you make a mistake, you get a Q-tip and you can just shape it and it 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 pounds, yeah. it's a bit hard. So yeah. thank you for that. You make our job easier. Does this tip also work for hooded eyes? It, that's what it's for. Yeah. Yeah. Your eyes is the yeah. apples really get on the other eye. So look straight ahead. So you can see if you go to the heavy lid, you put the brush in, it's number 6.5, under there and it just pushes that hood back. You want to darken that little bit of skin back. What would you say, Ray? This is an interesting question, because I always can look at a woman and I'll know what side she sleeps on, because yeah. there'll be a slight Absolutely. more hoodie on one side, because when we sleep, if we sleep sideways, our pillow rests and pushes down our eye. Mm -hmm. So it's like, when you have one bra, a breast bigger than the other, and generally the one over your heart is the bigger one, mm -hmm. you then pull that breast up. Mm -hmm. You know, you pull the smaller breast up more to make it the same size as your bigger breast. That's mm -hmm. a sort of trick. Mm -hmm. So when you have a face where one is hanging down That's more, question. how do you then equal okay. out your, your eye? And many of you now, ladies, you could look in the mirror and think, actually, I thought I didn't have that, but if you look closely, the majority of women who sleep on one side of their face oh, will yeah. have that. So they'll be like this at night. A really interesting thing, you know that everyone's got asymmetry, yeah. but you notice asymmetry in eye makeup for what you do outside the eye. Okay. So if you're doing liners or things out here, you, you have to sit back a little bit and make them even. But when it comes to eye makeup, so it really, might sound technical, but I keep it really simple. With eyes, you always have a high point on the top lid yeah. and a low point of the bottom lid, and that will change eye to eye. So and age. When, and age, yeah. yeah. So when you're doing your C shape, all you have to remember the highest point of your eyes, even if they're uneven, yeah. 
and you see all the and join it into the lowest point and if you just stick with what that eye needs and then what that eye needs they will even up okay it's really interesting okay. so you always know your high so point so the high point of one eye might be here yes. and the high point of the other eye might yeah. be here but you just you go high, yeah. And if you, that's great. Yeah, right? and if you're droopier, your high point will be a little bit closer to the mm -hmm. nose, so it tends to go down. And if you are droopy, just don't do eyeliner on the top lid, it can cause a droop. Yeah. Do it from underneath, just a little flick on the outer corner. Okay. Yeah. Because I think there's been such a trend in makeup to just do the top liner as a fashion moment. Yeah, and I think that for half the anymore. people, it's great and it makes them feel cool. But the other half of people think, I want a trend to make me feel cool, but it's doing the opposite. Yeah. So, so with your yeah. eye open, and if you've got a rounded lid, it's one of the worst things you can do. It, just, it does like this. It emphasizes. Yeah. yeah. That colour is yeah. so beautiful. And I have a slightly rounded lid, so that's something that I always need to learn. So for you, it's all the underneath, yeah. pulling them out, pulling yeah. them out. I was like, this is sun, which is heaven. Yeah, you're putting in the corner here, which I love. This is such yes. a makeup artist trick. Yes. Is that for me? What I love, it doesn't need to be crazy, crazy. It's just, I love doing it really softly. So when the light hits it, the good thing about shimmer, when light hits it, it's more shimmery. So it works with light. So you don't have to have like this massive sheen, sheen, sheen. Yeah. And also it's got, I think it does it, what's like, it has a rosiness. It's two-tone, it's yeah. golden and rose golden. So whichever way the light's going, you know it'll love? change. My favorite thing, how you test a highlighter, and yours is the biggest tip. Highlighters look great in the sun, right? So this is yeah. color sun. So you go, oh wow, you see this all over Instagram, the highlight, but when they turn their hand away, that highlighter goes four shades darker. Yeah. So it looks like a bruise, but yours doesn't do that. Yeah. I've got the paler skin. That yeah. is a very gold colour for my skin, but when yeah. I go like that, look, it's not there. Mm. That's a it's what highlights to be there, like, oh, surprise, and then not there when you do it. Thank you. I think I'm going to pop it just in the centre. Trini, how are you finding your visit to Australia so far? I'm loving it. I mean, we have been, Daigo, Nisha and I have been working sort of you know 18 hour days and couldn't wish for a better team ray too just in terms of the team that came from england and we've um we've seen most of um press and podcasts and newspapers and magazines and tv we've really done about 20 p 20 different things so far and everyone's been incredibly excited to see us which makes you able to be Full of energy because when people are happy to see you you can't give them your worst you've got to give them your best so i think that's kept us going um and today is trini london's second birthday so it's such a momentous day it's really odd to be very far away from the office you're now just probably waking up and in london but it's a big day for us because you know if i think about when i first had this idea which Ray and I were discussing, I brought my little stacks 10 years ago to Australia yeah, and that probably, the idea was really in the dark recesses of my mind. And then in 2015, I started working actively on it and then we launched in 2017. So it's been a long journey and it's like, you know, when people look at my TV career, they said, oh, it was so quick that you did well and it actually was 10 years, you know, it took mm -hmm. three or four years to get mm -hmm. there. So things always take longer than you imagine, but I feel these two years have gone unbelievably quickly with many ups and downs in terms of will the product be coming out on time will we deliver things will the site be ready you know so many things that you get with the startup which can potentially just you know really be difficult on the business and seeing the team grow you know we started off with Federica and Chloe and myself and then Shasha came on board and then Mark my CEO came on board and then slowly other people joined the team, Ross joined the team and Afric joined the team. And we had a few who, who were there at the beginning, Victoria and Emily, and then they, they've left, but they all had a contribution. We've named a new product after Emily and VB is named after Victoria, who was one of our first girls there. Using VB right now. VB right now, <laughs> so sweet. So, you know, these people all contributed to what we are today. And we're now a team in total of about 50 people. So. It's an incredible growth, and when I go in the office, very rarely do I do this, but about two weeks ago, I was walking in the office, and I was looking at the sign on the door, and I was looking at the sign in the lift, 
And I was thinking, would I have imagined? Because it's, it's really different to have a, from having a TV brand and books with your name on them to having a brand which is, you know, your life. Mm -hmm. And you know, Lila's my life, but this is my life too. Lila always said, it's your second child. She wrote me a birthday card last year and she said, happy birthday from your daughter Lila and your second child, Trini oh. London. <laughs> I know, it's very sweet. Yeah. She's just gone to have a surfing lesson in Bondi Beach. I haven't been the best mother this trip because it's been very, you know, I brought her with me and it's wonderful for her to see her nephew and niece, well, my nephew and niece, her cousins, and I'm staying with my brother and my sister-in-law. But there's no girls her own age, so I just sent her off to my brother to do a surfing lesson on Bondi Beach. So I hope she's having a good time. Lots of people saying how much they love Trini London and congratulations on your second year. Thank you. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm on channel 10, 10 and I'm co-hosting a morning show uh, and then in the afternoon I'm doing other things I can't remember and then Thursday is our Trini Tribe Day so we've got masterclasses so you're so lucky Trini Tribe because Ray is going to be doing masterclasses with me and the girls here are going to be assisting <laughs> <laughs> and then on, in the evening we've got a Trini Tribe drinks. Um, so you should all have got a new email by now with the mm. address if any of you are watching and you will also get a secret free shipping on the day that you can use. It's but fun doing lips when they're talking. Yeah. <laughs> so I can talk like a learn <laughs> um, But also for ladies who are in Australia who are watching, we actually, you can go on the, the Australian version of Trini London and to do that successfully in case you've been on Trini London before mm. and you've got a cookie on your computer, you do trinilondon.com forward slash AU and then you will get on the Australian site and there we ask, actually now have a shipping that's half the price of the one it used to be and you also get to have free shipping over a certain $150. So they're ready for you ladies and <laughs> lots and lots of you, like over a, a couple of thousand have already been on. Um, so it's wonderful that so many new um, people are coming to Trini London in Australia. I'm just about done. I'm just about done. Yeah, I'm fantastic. Like, this must be trust because you have no I idea what I'm doing. No idea. <laughs> no idea, honey. Just a little bit of sun. Just on the yeah. Air. Because otherwise, you could use virtue or you could use our highlighters. Because mm -hmm. sun is sun is just a, an eye shade. Oh, I love that. See, I just pick up. Yeah, colors. I know. So, you know, this is the joy. This is what I'm get, loving about any makeup artist because they're come in and they'll just say, this is my colours I want to use. And even though the formulas are really yeah. carefully formulated, because it's all cream based, it's very easy to then think, actually, I want to use this on the lip or on the cheek or on the mouth. Just I've even used some of your lip colours on the eyes. Yeah, I do that a bit too. Yeah. This, like this, this one here, Queen. I'm going to use this as a transition between Sun and... And Empress. Yeah, yeah. Empress. I'm going to do that as like a little surprise in the middle. So as she turns her eyes to me, <laughs> you go, oh, what is that? I think shine is like expensive jewelry for the face. I know, like diamonds for the face. Way. Can't afford diamonds, put sparkle on your eyes. Do a bit of shimmer on your eyes. And you're going to get underneath. It's such a fit, yeah, in the middle. And it's actually yeah. a trick a Korean actress taught me. If you do it, you know how you always just center off the top of mm -hmm. the eyelids? Yeah. You look straight ahead. Wherever your eyeballs sit, put a highlight just under your eyeballs. It opens your eyes up. That's a good one. We better get going because yeah, we've, we've got people coming. Hungry makeup artists outside. Everyone's really loving this look, Trini, and wishing you well for the event this evening. Just chin right back. There you go. Just put. Just so she's got a little bit of diamonds. That is a look at that color. That's queen. Do you name that one after me? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Gorgeous. We need to go get dressed. <laughs> we need to go get dressed. They're all going to be outside. Oh no, I've got my dress on here. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so you can stay live so I can just then show you. Yeah. I'm just going to be a bit mm -hmm. Where it's light to medium. Yeah. And then I used her foundation colour, which is Change One. And then on her eyes, I started with a wash of. Excuse my hair. <laughs> A wash of fortune as it's a nice sheen all over. Mm -hmm. And then along the lash line in the outer third and in under here, I did my V shape 
I used Empress and then I took Empress with my, and my um, hooded eye brush guys, 6.5. The hood with the um and went into the socket area just to lift that area there. And then I took sun and I use it in the corners here mm -hmm. on the lid, and then I got a bit excited <laughs> and I couldn't help myself. And then I got Queen. I did the my girls are already sorting that one out. Queen in between the efforts and the sun just done this full transition. I just went a bit crazy. Amazing. And then on the cheek I did BB. And on the lid, I just, I did a bit of a mixture. I did, I put on Cordy first, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, it's a pink color and there's gold, so I then also put lighter on top, which is actually colors that you wouldn't normally put yep. together. Beautiful. And I just mixed it together. And oh. then I used some, oh, then I used a bit of a blur, and then face finish just through the T-zone. And all I've got to do now is just put on a bit of brow. And Amazing. Just Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. I hope you liked it. And Ray, if people want to follow you, um, oh, where can they find Ray you? Ray Morris makeup. Ray R A E. And no, I'm not the Ray Morris <laughs> in the UK. He's a famous singer. I get her emails. I have her voice. So it's Ray R A E Morris makeup. 